Hey guys, is it just me or have there been a lot of movies based off of books lately? And TV shows too. I mean, I'm not really complaining though because I always like being able to like get a visual of what a character looks like and so it really helps with like say Harry Potter to actually know what Harry Potter looks like, aka Daniel Radcliffe. But <laughs> there seems to be a like lot more these days and it's getting kind of a little overkill. I mean, yeah, these books that are being made into films are really, really pretty decent books, but I mean, if you're going to make it into a film, I feel like you should at least stay true to what the book is about, and lately that to me hasn't been really happening. Take for instance, Youth in Revolt by C.D. Payne. I read this about a year ago, and I really loved it. I mean, the fact that Nick Twisp is a 14-year-old boy doing all of these things is really kind of entertaining, and it's just a really great book. But the movie, which was good uh, on its own, like if it was separate from the book, if someone like just created it on its own, but since it was based off the book, it should have been more like the book, and it wasn't. It was pretty much just his name, Nick Twisp, and some of the other characters were there. Not even all the characters were there, which is kind of upsetting because there's some pretty important characters that were left out. And so... I mean, yeah, I like the movie, and Michael Sarah did a really good job playing that part. He was kind of, like, born for it. But stay true to the book if you're going to base it off of a book. That's all I'm saying. But on the other hand, Time Traveler's Wife, which is my favorite book of all time, the film was actually pretty decent. Yeah, it left off some of the sexual stuff that happened. See, now, every now all the guys watching this are going to run out by the book and see what sexual stuff happened in it. Whatever. Yeah, so it doesn't have all of that stuff in it, which makes it more realistic and more raw to me, but it still stayed pretty true to the book and the storyline and, like, the emotions you get from reading it. So that was good. So at least I like that. So I'm kind of worried about how it's going to pan out for Dear John because, I mean, what I know about this book is that it's a pretty, pretty heartfelt story. And to me, the movie looks pretty good. But I haven't read the book yet, so I got the book yesterday to make sure I read it before I see the movie because I'm really big on comparing and contrasting because if there's a book, I have to read it. So I'm going to read it before I see the movie, but I just hope that they don't mess that up because it seems like a really nice story. And I also, I have read The Lovely Bones, which this book was ridiculous. Just the whole concept of it and just how brutal it was was really really intense and so I haven't seen the movie if it I think yeah it's out or it's about to come out whatever and I don't want to because I just think the book was really good on its own and I don't think they'll do it justice so I'm just not gonna see it but on the other hand there are times where like I see the show or the movie before I read the book and it makes me want to read the book, not because I want to compare and contrast, but because I think it's so good that I want to read more, be able to, like, experience it more, I guess. And that's the case for The Vampire Diaries, which I just started watching. And it's in its first season, and it's only about 12 episodes in, but I just started watching it, and I'm addicted to it. And I found all of the past episodes since the one I saw, which was, like, eight, the number eight or whatever. And I'm like obsessed with it and I think it's because it kind of has a lot to do with Twilight but it's less teenage angsty Twilight and more like hardcore edgier kind of dark twisted vampire ways which I think is really cool and it sticks kind of true to the old stereotypes about what vampires are like they can't go out in the daytime and um, what else usual stereotypes Oh, stinks to the heart and that kind of stuff, which Twilight kind of just pushed to the side for the more romancy heartache kind of thing. So, because I love the Vampire Diaries so much, I went and got the book because I'm really interested in reading that aspect of it because it was based off the book. So, I'm really interested to see how that goes. But I'm also curious to see what you guys think about all these books that I showed or other books that have been made into TV shows or movies. So yeah, I'm curious to see what you guys think. So just let me know. Um, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Well then.